Welcome to a very special, exclusive Nina Bonina Brown Hey Queen one on one. It's the middle of our shoot day, but we heard that Nina Bonina Brown was able to stop by the studio. So while everybody's getting ready for the next show, honey, I said, Nina, come in and sit down, give it up. Here she is, Nina Bonina Brown. <laughs> honey. <laughs> Hey, how is everybody doing? Oh, honey, I am so excited to finally get to meet you. And you got my name wrong, bitch. It's Nina Bonina Banana Fafana on Hey Queen Brown. Ah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would what the look goes as follows? What is this look called today? This, you know, I'm very inspired by like cartoons and games, and this is a um, character. Marceline, but my own take it on it. It's from Adventure Time on Cartoon Oh, Network. okay. Yeah, so my own <laughs> little take on it. She's a sexy little vampire, so I wanted to give that. And I've never seen any girl on your show really give like any creative makeup. Mmm. <laughs> I said it and I won't take it back. I won't take it back. <laughs> So we, I've been loving you on Drag Race this season. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you, you're just the looks are so out of the box and so incredible. Thank you. How is it? How are you feeling just with the teeny tip of of attention that's coming your way? I mean, it's only the beginning. <sighs> um, it's been a ride. Like, like you know, you sign up for it, but you really don't know what to expect from it. Yeah. Um. Uh, as well, as you've probably seen so far, like I'm, I'm, I'm somebody who's very hard on myself. Yeah. And um, it's been I'm trying to enjoy it, but it's just this block that I have inside of me. I'm not trying to make this too like no Golden Girl special, uh. but, it's like this, it, but but I have this block that's like blocking me from really enjoying this whole experience, and I don't want it to like pass by me. And I'm like, shit, you know. Yeah, so, honey. But I mean, but I'm 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 blessed and I'm appreciative of it. I just wish that. I can get past whatever this hurdle is so I can really enjoy the moment. I don't know yeah. what it is. Johnny. I mean, it's hard when suddenly everyone's eyes are on you. Right. Every little thing is scrutinized. Every tweet right. is covered in drag right. feed. <laughs> and you know what I'm used to? Like, 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 unfortunately, I'm used to people talking about me and like making fun of me and hating on me. And so when people are like trying to be positive, I'm like, girl, we love you and all that. I have a hard time like um, accepting that. I don't know what it is. Mm. You know, I love to, that we got to kind of see the soft side of you in that first untucked. My, 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 my vagina? <laughs> yes, darling. Oh, okay. Your alien, beautiful, <laughs> glitter vagina. I mean, because your looks give you, seem like they're coming from such a place of super confidence. They're so out of the box. They're so creative. But we got to see that sort of insecure side a little bit right. on Untucked. And I think that's a key to success on Drag Race. Right. Well, you know, I will say, um, I was told by a little bird that my that there hasn't been nobody with my story ever on on Drag Race. I will say that I'm very human um, on the show. Um, <laughs> cry baby. Um, some girls were, were were very robotic, very like very just boom 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 boom, just killing it, you know whatever. But I have moments where where I'm like, you know, just just to myself. And it doesn't mean like I don't want to be bothered by nobody, but I'm just I'm just kind of minding my business and trying to focus. So yeah, you will see that I'm gonna have a lot of vulnerable moments and a lot of uh, just depression and di di different things going on, but, uh -huh. but it makes me human, I guess. Well, it seems like yeah. the stakes are high for you. You know, you, you said that if this wasn't, if Drag Race mm -hmm. wasn't gonna be it, then that was it. Come on, taking your notes. Uh, honey, yes, I've been paying attention. Honey. I mean, and, I, and I'm, I'm really loving you. So, I mean, the stakes oh. for you are, are high. Yeah, and especially like, you know, I, I'm sure you heard about my Atlanta fool, foolery with the girls up there or whatever. Well, um, let's talk about that for a quick second. I mean, like, do you you feel that the girls in Atlanta are not supportive of yes, you? I do. I, I do, yeah. Um, some some do, but, you know, most of the girls who, who who's even been on the past seasons, no. Hmm. Uh, not really, you know. Um, Direct Shade or can I, can I do it correctly? Yes, you can. Oh, oh wait, shit. you got it. Bam! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can no. have the shade fan anytime you need it, honey. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't want to like start mess or anything, but I've always been an outcast in Atlanta. Uh -huh. I always have been an outcast. Um, I don't kiss ass. I'm not going to tell you tell you you're sickening when you're not. Just like, right. so, just like so being your cast. Um, and because I speak my mind and I'm different, I. 
I was never like on a real cast. I was always good enough to only do a talent show. But I was never good enough to be a part of a cast. Right. So, um, they're going to see on the show that I have some things to say. Yeah. I got something to say. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> you know, they're, they're going to see. And, um, yeah. <sighs> well, I mean, success is the best revenge because, you know, and I think Lady Red had that same issue in right. her own life where people were afraid of her talent overshadowing them and didn't want to book her as a regular person <laughs> in the I, show. And she always had to settle for being a guest star until she got on Hey Queen and now suddenly everybody want to know her. You know, and I don't want to say that because I never want to give myself that much props. Like, I, like, I don't never want to come off like cocky. I'm, I'm really a very humble person. I'm from South Carolina. I still don't even consider myself a celeb or anything. I'm just Pierre. Right. And, uh, um, and, and RuPaul, me and him had some intimate talks. Like, y'all seen the carpool ride. We had, I think me, me and RuPaul had one of the best carpool rides, to be, to be honest. Like, we really connected. Um, and we had talks about Atlanta and things that, that, that didn't make, make the cut. Um, because, you know, he used to live there and stuff. Yeah. And I always used to say in my audition videos that I feel like RuPaul probably went through what I went through because he was very different. And I'm quite sure the girls probably, like, looked at him like, what? You know, Who whatever. Are so, you? Yeah. Right. And so and so he left and made a name for himself. And he told me, he said, he said, Nina, you're here. They're 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 at home. Like like yeah. like, like like but and, and hearing that was like yes, but then but then it was still I think I think in a way I'm kinda damaged a little bit. Like like something internally I'm a little damaged where I feel like I'm just not good enough or something. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it seems like you're very hard on yourself in the I workroom. Am. Even that first look that we all thought was so amazing, you were picking apart yes. in your own head, the peach. Yes, yeah. because you know, people are going to read you if anything is wrong. And yeah. people, people want a reason to read you. Yeah. You know, and I'm a petty bitch and I love reading comments. So <laughs> the girls know I'm petty. Um, and so, I mean, but... Yeah, because that day, oh my God, going from a damn mouse to a damn peach, bitch, right. bitch. That was that was no joke. That was not just like, oh, let me just change my my rouging a little bit. Bitch. That was Honey, everything yeah. had to go. Like when they say it's a race. They're not playing with you. Drag race is a race. So if you're auditioning for, for this show, don't think you're sickening because you're gonna get there and realize that you're not that sickening. Uh-huh. And um and. I did my best. I mean, like, I literally used acrylic paint on my face. Um, wow. Because I couldn't, <laughs> my, my, the makeup wasn't doing right. So I, right. So, and then I was rushed. And then, so it was fine, but it was starting to crack and, like, oh, get girl. dry. So, <laughs> but let, so far, I will say the people at Drag Race, they have given me a good edit because they could have been, like, very shady and, like, zoomed in on, on everything. <laughs> but, like, but they, they have not clocked my teeth. And even throughout the past episodes, even though I'm barely seen in the last episode. Yeah, I know. I was noticing that, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they have given me some good edits so yeah. far. So far. So far, we'll right. see. No, okay. Nobody knows until until okay. all the rest of it comes out. Okay. Now, this technique with the paper, because you used that in the alien one and mm-hmm. the the peach. Is that so? Where did that evolve from? Being, I mean, being a cheap black bitch. Yes. Because uh-huh. <laughs> um, I because I couldn't afford a lot of things and and I had to learn because I had to you know you know you know when the whole Atlanta thing whatever I had to figure out a way to get myself out there. So I started going in the bathroom and doing makeup and like trying new things and so I was like I thought he's in paper for like I'm oh, sorry Ooh, all that dried up cum from Ooh. last night <laughs> Give me, oh. um, so I had to like use paper I used Play-Doh for like for like prosthetic pieces and stuff and so just just being on a budget like right. I, mean, I, w- I would love to like start using like fancier you know prosthetics and stuff but right now I mean I think I'm proud that I'm able to take the most basic things and make it work for me. Because everybody can't afford to have the most expensive drag and, and things. So I yeah. make it work for me. I mean, tick, tick, tick. Your your moment of money coming in. A, they're backing up a Mack truck right now no, truck, for bitch. your performance, <laughs> honey. So I'm sure you'll be, you'll be rolling in it pretty soon. But there's something to be said for someone who's doing it out of ingenuity, creativity. And then this season, it is more than ever like the Olympics of drag. Right. Everybody's been doing it except for Valentina for but she has 10 years that's in her room like, hey queen oh shit hey uh, queen <laughs> well Valentina says she's only been doing 10 months but I, I don't believe it 10 years in her room she's my sis but I don't <laughs> believe her shenanigans <laughs> that she means 10 years um, <laughs> no, I mean I love Valentina but I'm like girl 
really bitch. No, but she's she's doing good for what for what she. Everybody's doing a good job. Oh, they, is, I think know. it's a high level of competition, yeah. and you have to be able to bring it this right. year. Whatever you're, wherever you're coming from, whether that's you have all the things made for you right. from wherever, or if you're making it yourself. Right, and you know, and me, and even you know, I don't. I don't lie. Like even in my in my audition video, I said, "Honey, I'm not much of a seamstress, uh. you know, but, <laughs> but give me some paper and I make it do what I do, you know." And I and I think they liked it because I was being real. Because I I think a lot of girls go in there and lie and say, "Girl, I can sew the house down boots," uh -huh. and then they get there and they're looking like dumb as hell, Fira. Um, oh. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm playing. But um, yeah, I I'm not. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I think everybody has their talent. And like, you have to have a certain blessing to be able to do all that. Like, it's not me. Mm. When did you start drag? <sighs> the last time that Bob the Drag Queen was heterosexual. <laughs> I don't know when that was, honey. Right. So a long, <laughs> long time, a long time ago. ago. Yeah, like, you know, you know, you know the typical story, being at home, playing in your mom's clothing. Right. You know, you, know, you know, that kind of stuff. So you dabbled as a child yeah, for Fantasyland, right? Right. And, um, and then it just led to, like, because like, I used to always think I wanted to be a female. Like, I think, I, I think a lot of guys probably go through that. Like, mm. I used to always see this female in my head, and I thought I was meant to be her. And so as I got older, I realized that I love having my penis and using it. So I said, I can just do my drag and and be this girl that I've always wanted to be and this superstar and this singer and this actress. Cause yeah. you, you get to do all that with drag. So that's how it all started. Just, and, and when did the crazy looks begin? Did you start off with kind of a no. Coco from right. SWV type of look? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Coco. She, she follows me on, on Instagram. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, she, um, well, I started off as every queen wants to be fishy. Right. You know, and you think you're a fish wearing cover girl at Maybelline, but, um, but Phoenix from season, was it two? Uh, I think so. I don't even know. <laughs> do, you know do, you, do you even know who I'm talking about? Yeah, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I remember no, Phoenix's name, Nina. No, 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 Phoenix, um, she had a competition. It's something like Drag Race that they have in Atlanta. Okay. And we had to do like a Disney something theme kind of thing. And I decided to be Ursula. And I was like, this is kind of fun. And so from there, it kind of started. I was like, I didn't know I could do this. So I, so I started growing. So right. because of Phoenix, Phoenix, even though we're not the best Judy's and we don't talk, Thank you for the competition because you got me to open my eyes to other things and, and learn something that I didn't know I could do. Right. Yeah. And then, so has drag just been part time until now? Or have you been getting it, like, you know, working every night? Drag somewhere? has just been, I, I've been viral and, 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 and popular on social media. Right. I mean, we all, see, we've seen you on social right. media before. Right. So, so it's, it's, it's gotten me a lot of like, you know, followers and things because like, yeah, the girls didn't want to book me in Atlanta, but I'm kind of more well, more well known than they were. So, yeah. um, I'm not being shady, but I'm being, I'm being honest. I mean, and, sure. and, um, what was the question again? <laughs> well, it's like now drag is going to start to be your 24-hour full-time thing. Is it? You think? You think? Honey, once this, uh, just the minute, you've been, just with these looks alone, you that you did the last few right. episodes, you could tour for two years. Well, you know, I'm always like, you know, I'm more pessimistic. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, they already doing, they already doing auditions for season 10. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be old news before I know it, and I'll be left in the dust. But so far, it seems like, I, I don't want to say it, but I, I feel like I'm, I may be a fan Favorite? Dare yes, I say? I definitely mean, you are. <laughs> Am I right, everyone in the studio right now? Yeah. Who's paying them to say that, y'all? They don't. Nobody gets paid around here, Nina. Give me a break. <laughs> so no, but I kind of feel like I am. For some, it, it seems that way. And well, you did win the first competition. Yeah, and and even like last when I did Mickey's or whatever, like. I don't know if the girls always do this, but it was like about five winners from past seasons. Other girls, they all came to support me and 
Maybe RuPaul was like, y'all go see that bitch. Y'all know she depressed. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, but they all came and they supported me. And it meant so much to me. And like Adora been showing me so much love. And, and so I, I guess I am special. I mean, I guess I guess some people like me. I wish that I could just like myself more. You know, I wish you could too, honey. This is only going to be uh, like another 10 episodes or something. Right. You should be soaking it up and then watching all the episodes of Hey Queen to find out how every bitch that went through the competition and became a big star did it. Right. Because this is your time to soak it up. Right. And then to hit the road and do it all over again, again and again. Right, right. There's a, something very special about you and I think everybody's seeing it. And girl, you should just take a look in the mirror and oh, feel it, honey. Thank you, Joe. And I wanna, you know, it's, but, but I wanna thank you for um, taking your time with all the queens and spending your money and doing these 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 shows to have an outlet for us to be on and and talk. So I really appreciate you. Well, our, our pleasure, honey. We love whatever what you guys I, do. I'm such an emotional bear. Oh, so you're like, so sweet. No, I just, I, it's, but no, I mean it. Like 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 thank you because, you know, I never thought that I would be like, um, <laughs> you know, like sitting here and and doing these kind of things and. Um, Oh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> this same thing happened to me on the show. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I just have a lot of feelings. Yeah, honey, well, you've been struggling <laughs> and you trying to, to deal with a lot of adversity. And suddenly the spotlight is on you and people are loving you. And obviously you're having a hard time believing it. But yeah. believe it, it's happening to you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it, it is. So. What's the family reaction? Um, <laughs> you know, like all families, they all come along when they think you may win a check. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing no. No, my mom and them, at first, you know, I think at first they probably had a hard time. For me, for them, they just, they just wanted me to work. They wanted me, because I was always stuck in the bathroom, messing the bathroom up. Right. They want me to, like, work. But now that they see that it's really a passion and things are happening, they're very yeah. supportive. And that your creativity, that you've yeah. all that stuff, we're like, will you, Pierre? Right, right. Get out of the damn right. bathroom, Pierre. Right. You made my bathroom right. blue, oh, Pierre. Right, right, but right. Even, but even though they would yell or whatever, they still were like letting me do my thing because they saw that things were starting to happen. Yeah. So they've been supportive. And one thing before we go, mm -hmm. what um, would you think afterward? Are you an album type of girl, music <laughs> videos? Uh, I mean, what do you think, it, it, what's your dream for once this all wraps up? I don't have any. I, mean, I I was trying to avoid doing what everybody does. You know, you know, you know, everybody does the same thing. You know, um, it's a record, and they can't sing or whatever. Um, <laughs> can you sing? Um, <laughs> that's a maybe. That's a no, maybe. I can, no, I can do a little something. Uh -huh. uh, if if I did do an album, it'd be like like one of those fun like house kind of like yeah. you know, kinda, 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 kinda. Uh, uh, da, 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 Nina, yes. You know, you know, you know, you know, something like that. But I, I'm, right now, I'm kind of just going with the wind and seeing what doors are going to open. Okay. You know, like I would love to maybe act and things, even though I did horrible on acting challenges anyway. Um, <laughs> no, no, but I would love to like act and just and maybe some makeup and just just whatever whatever God has planned for me. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm here waiting for for the doors to open. Nina, we're so excited to see what happens to you on the race. And as soon as it's over, honey, you get your ass here so we can do a full I eight know, win right? and spill all the tea. Okay, look at her. Oh, look at her. I'm ready for that. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> Nina, I love you. I think I you, you are right. so great. I'm so excited for what's going to happen for you. Thank you. And we'll see you real soon. See you soon. Nina Bonina Brown, everybody. Yeah.